Hi, my name is Stuart with Metro Home Theater Group. Today we're going to discuss features and functions of Spyclops products. For remote access of Spyclops DVRs, you'll want to download the Spyclops app. You can do that with the Apple App Store or on Google Play with Android. Uh, for this example, we're going to be using an iPhone to download uh, Spyclops. So what you want to do is search for Spyclops. And there we are. Uh, you'll want to download Spyclops. Once your download is complete, you'll want to open the app. And for this example, there's, uh, there's actually two different ways you can use the Spyclops app. You can register with the app, and what that will do is, is keep a record of your device IDs and passwords. So if you change devices regularly or if you need to have multiple people use it, you can uh, use that registered username and password. Um, or you can use the trial or local option. Um, and what that does is that just keeps it local to the device. And that's what we're gonna do for this demo. To add a device for direct IP access with the Spyclops app, press the plus arrow in the upper right-hand corner. Select Add Device by IP DDNS. And here you will enter either your static IP address or your DDNS URL. Next, enter the port that you have forwarded in your router and also the, the matches the web port in the DVR network settings. Uh, the description is the title of the device you would like, the username and password, in this case our pa username is admin and we've entered our password, and you want to select the number of channels that's related to the DVR, in this case it's four channels. Then you'll hit submit, and then you'll see a preview grid, and in order to view this you'll need to open the preview grid. Just tap on it, and there we are, we're connected, live streaming our four connected cameras remotely. For more information and helpful videos, please visit us at metrahometheater.com.